Okay, so my approach to, to, to educating as the director of the Center for Diversity and at SUNY Plattsburgh and doing a lot of the work I do, my approach is to try to make an immediate impact. And some of my colleagues had a, you weren't all in that workshop, but there was, a, a, there was an amazing graph that had a lot of the dimensions of diversity on it. Okay, and one of the things it had was perspective. And another thing it had on, on it was language. And those are two big things to me. Okay, what it didn't have on there, and it shouldn't have, was consideration. Because one of the things that I think we do poorly is consider the other. And you're on the left. I'm loving you right now. Okay, one of the things that I think we, we need to do more is be more considerate. And you might think that you're being considerate. And the old saying, uh, we need to put ourselves in other people's shoes and all that. But we're not as considerate as we could be. And here's a good example. Okay, I, I recently written a book. And it's a shameless play. It's called The Nigger in You. Okay. I wrote this book because, talking about consideration, I'm all about two things, developing leaders and allies. Okay, and sometimes it's in, the, it's in the same basket. But it's amazing how inconsiderate we can be naturally. And an example of that is, I'm going to go the black thing, the black person route, because I'm a black person and I, and I can go there. Okay? Um, black people have a tendency to, to uh, think that the word nigger is the worst word in the English language. And as a black person, on many levels, yes it is. I just told you a story about the scars that, that my son and I both have from him. But it's not the worst word in the English language. It's not worse than the word retard. My son has no special needs. Okay? If somebody called him a retard, he'd laugh in the face. If somebody called someone who's been called a retard too often in their life a nigger, that person would look like, what's your problem? One of those terms doesn't carry more weight than the other. Okay, and that's a very important point for me, especially someone who has had the, the good fortune of doing the work that I've done in the North Country. I've been to, I've probably done work at 10 different school districts, middle school and high school level. I've spoken at, I don't know how many colleges, not just in North Country uh, and in Vermont, but all over the country. I've had these conversations, and I know the scars that different people carry. And so as a black person who does not want to hear the word nigger, doesn't want to be scarred by it, doesn't want other people to be scarred by it, I still can't elevate it over retard and bitch and fag and a lot of the other dysfunctional language that we have to carry around. 